Welcome, Leo, my beautiful spirits. I hope you enjoyed the speed shuffle. Let's jump into this reading. We have the overall energy of your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions being one of holding back. Capricorn energy, trying to play it safe, trying to feel secure in the connection with you. In the recent past and the current energy that they're bringing into the relationship is that they are healing. The phoenix rising from the ashes speaks to the fact that your person has been to hell and back. Hades, as we know it, they are rising, they are healing, but they're not fully healed at this time. They are moving towards a time in their life when they can have a rebirth in love. We see this spirit guardian of spring activation. And so to me, since we're entering winter right now, springtime will be when they really set themselves free, when they're fully healed, most likely. Dragon spirit is all about change. Your person is looking at the way they have had relationships in the past. They want to change the fact that oftentimes they've been so emotional that they feel as though they have been too emotional. So your person is trying to find better balance in relationship. They're trying not to go just from their feelings. They're trying to be more balanced. And that is what the transformation is about for your person. Sagittarius energy is a nine of wands. They have fire in their belly. They feel as though you could be the one. They're feeling the stirrings of love with this ace of cups reversed, but they're holding back. And I sense that you know that. It's highly likely that you know that this person has much deeper feelings than they are really admitting to. I also see right now that they're telling you basically that they're they're not ready to date individually. So we see this person keeping their options open. In terms of their heart space, they feel very much like you are a soulmate. But because this person, it's Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy, this person is accustomed to falling head over heels very easily. They're trying very hard with the King of Swords energy reversed <clears throat> they're almost taking a logical approach to love, even though it's way, way too intense. When we get the King of Swords upright, fine. This is a person who's logical, who's intellectual, who's using, you know, their brain power to make some good decisions. But when we get reverse, we see someone who is so sort of bent on being logical and I'm going to I'm not going to give in and I'm going to fight love and it's that kind of energy where they're really having a lot of inner turmoil in terms of their heart space. Do they have strong feelings of affection of love? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, they do, but they are fighting them. So their intentions with you are to this the page of swords watch you very closely on social media see if you're flirting you know they want to make sure that you they're looking their intention is to see if you ignore advances of others the advances of players so your person is trying to check out how safe you are at the point that they feel safe we move into this growth period and a period in which they're really again trying to be the phoenix rising from the ashes in terms of their actual actions towards you at this time, we see that this person, you have shocked this person. They are shocked that they find you to be the empress. They are shocked to find that they are falling in love with you. But we also see them once again holding back, not really giving to the relationship. Again, you know, we can see holding back here, we see it here, we see it here, we see it here. We also see it here. So, you know, what we're looking at is we're going to clarify these cards and see what the backstory is. But I feel this is not related to you. I feel with the Phoenix rising from the ashes that many of you may be dating somebody who's out of a bad divorce or some very catastrophic relationship that they've had and they recognize that they were part of the problem. So now 
appropriately so they are trying to create a solution and not make the same mistakes and look at that energy that popped over in the cards as i shuffled we get the clarifier for the overall energy as they're trying to hold back on love okay so that really solidifies how i've read the card so far that really is just another indicator that it's correct we see your person very much wanting to collaborate, wanting to be a part of your life, wanting to talk day to day. We see the three of coins. They're kind of bored. They don't know quite what to do with themselves. I would say this is a very awkward sense of communication sometimes that you have with them. Again, I feel badly for this person because they are really struggling. And I think you know that, Leo. I think that you can see their, their difficulties. I feel, you know, you're very intuitive. So what we get here is we do get the Eight of Pentacles. Your person wants to get to know you very well before they invest in the relationship in the heart space. So that is their thought, is that they want to know you well. They don't want to just fall in love, put their heart on their sleeve, and then have it crushed. The Seven of Cups energy is them keeping their options open. The Two of Wands, they're afraid to make a choice because again they're really trying to change the way that they operate in relationships i feel that this person falls in love before it's even safe to fall in love i feel as though they're they're a person who puts their heart over their head usually in the process, though, it's very easy to get burned by that. And that's what I see has happened to them. So we see this energy. They see you as the one. The Six of Cups really tells us that your person has very tender feelings. They have the feeling in their heart space that they would like to grow old with you, that they love you. Cups are always all about love, affection. You may have known this person for a long time. They're very loyal. This person's very, very loyal. And we we see them again fire in the belly so they really have this strong feeling towards you but with the magician card clarifying the king of swords energy we see them hiding the fact that they're they're hiding out from you i mean they're hiding they're hiding and so they're not really logical they're they're very emotional and they're trying to develop the tools to be better at relationship and not be too bold in falling in love so when we get the five of wands we get in the heart space that they are very conflicted about love because they were stabbed in the back by the past someone in the past has really hurt them and we can see that with that death card phoenix rising so let's look and see what we have for the fact that they are intending to follow you on social media and watch you very closely is interesting. We have a card that flew out under my desk. Okay. They want a victory in love. So the Six of Wands, Leo, there you are in your reading. They want a victory with you. They feel as though you are an amazing person. They would love to be the person that you chose. That you know, They would love to choose you. That is oftentimes also associated with possibly becoming very public as a couple. They will be looking to see if you announce or see what you post about them very carefully. We do get the moon reversed, which I like. The moon upright is, is fearful, but we now see the moon reversed in terms of player energy. They're watching your social media to see if they are your significant other. Whether it's stated in a bold manner or not, they are looking to see if you ignore people who flirt with you. What do you do with that when somebody flirts with you? And they see you as being very, very sweet, very honest, um, very much an honorable person. That's how they see you, Leo. They see you as a person who doesn't really put up with a lot of nonsense. And their intention really is to, to simply watch and not do anything. So their intentions towards you are to be very watchful over the energy that you display online. The energy that you display online is going to be their feedback in terms of what they think as to whether the relationship is really safe for them to be in. 
So why do we have the Six of Coins reversed? Why are they not giving anything? Well, they feel it's premature. So we, they would feel a little silly right now. They feel it's not really time to step forward yet, but they have a massive crush on you. So that Page of Cups is a little bit whimsical, silly, you know, immature, but it says that right now they just think that they're just trying to make it through the day with the old wounding that's taken place. The Tower card. All right, so your person, the actions that they will take towards you are to settle the relationship matter fully in the near future. We see that if you do anything unexpected, they would end the relationship. If they don't feel secure, they would end the relationship. However, we don't see that as actually the outcome. Your outcome is your person is coming towards you with very in a lot of romantic ways, but they're also trying to prove their romantic feelings towards you by being very reliable. They see you as a beautiful empress, so their intention is to come towards you, to create a beautiful relationship with you. They see you as a rock star. They see you as hopes and dreams for love, as their personal fulfillment. They're hoping that you feel the same way. And that is your reading. So Leo, thanks so much for watching. Please sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and tell me what you think of the reading, if you like the style, etc. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.